Dortmund uh, remain at top of the table. Bayern Munich now up to second after their victory yesterday. It's got to be nice, isn't it? To have all this hype surrounding a youngster and he continues to deliver. You could just see the belief in him. Uh, of course, it's nice. I think it's better than nice. I, I think he, he's really found a home, and he's found a group of players that trust him. He has a coach that trusts him. Um, you saw that Yarmolenko comes off instead of Pulisic, and, and is keeping him fresh at the same time. This is a player that can change games himself. He, he, you, saw, you saw his ability with the ball at his feet. And as he gets older and as he gets more coy and, and understanding what's around him, I just think he's going to continue to improve. Oh, yeah, and uh, it might just be a title race. Or just on another story here, uh, Dortmund won in the top of the league. Mm. And there might be a title race this year to the end. We know Ancelotti isn't everybody's cup of tea at Bayern. Uh, still a good team, but uh, lots of question marks about him. And can Dortmund, which I think is a bigger story, can Dortmund take it all the way and stop Bayern's dominance in, in, uh, in Germany? I'm not quite sure they're strong enough, but we'll see. It certainly is more, more of competitive, certainly, than we thought it would be at the start of the season. Everyone thought Bayern would win it, Stevie? Yeah, give it but, time. But we said, <laughs> we said before the season started that, that Bayern were going to go through a little bit of a transitional period. Unfortunately for Bayern, whilst they're doing that, Dortmund look as though they've actually taken a step forward from last season, including the emergence of Pulisic.